What is up, party people? It's your boy Voltron coming at you with another anchor video. But first, you know, I was given this as a gift. It's pretty nice. It's from Bordeaux. It's French wine. So if it's French wine, we know what? It's going to be quality. And I'm going to teach you guys something about wine. So if, you know, one thing that separates the French wine from, say, California wine is that, hey, you know, the French take wine real serious, you know, in, in California, if you make wine, you know, there, there's a lot of things you can do to cheat, to make your wine taste a little better or, or to even take something that came out bad and make it good. And with the French, it's a little trickier. And if you're ever in that situation where, say, you're going to spend a night with a special person, you know, that special person, you want to get a nice wine to set the mood and all that stuff, you know, French wines can can do that can help you with that and one trick is that the french their labeling system is like a code you know and the code kind of lets you know if you have a little g wine middle g or top g level type of wine but regardless if you know that it's rated under the classification system of the french little g and top g are all good wines they're going to be all good wines and one of the keys, one of the tricks you can do is when you look at the bottle, look to see if it has the code AOP. Because if it has the AOP code, I don't know if you can see it on the, on the, because uh, it's small. I don't know if you can see it on the, on the screen, but it's, it's right there. I'll take a picture in a little bit and blow it up for you guys. But if it has AOP, and it's coming from Bordeaux, Burgundy, Rhone, you know, it's going to be a good wine. It's going to be one of those wines for those romantic nights. But anyway, we're getting off subject. We're going to talk Anchor. So it's a special Saturday night video. Normally I don't make it again. So, all right. So I've been, I've been thinking about Anchor. And I realized something. Something's missing. I had a vision that something is missing. We've seen Davos talk about, hey, you know what? We're, we're starting DeFi, we're going to start with Matic, and we're going to expand. And then there was a clue there. And we'll get back to that clue. Then I said, wait a minute. Let me look at Anchor Earn and see if anything is missing. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. It's like, you know what? In their delegated staking, something is missing. And then when I checked Davos... I noticed that they talked about it. They're like, hey, we're starting with Matic. We're going to expand Avalanche and hit the other chains. And then I saw one on Davos that's missing on Anchor. And then I noticed that our boys at Latitude SH have been pumping up that missing piece. They've been preparing. They've been building. They've been hyping up that missing piece. And you may be saying, Voltra, what is the missing piece? Solana. Is Solana a, the missing piece? When we look at Anchor Earn, their delegated stake, and I didn't see Solana. When I looked at Davos, they mentioned Solana. So that means it's missing from Anchor, but Davos is talking about it, which means it'll probably be on Anchor Staking, on Anchor Earn. So I'm starting to feel that Anchor is going to start building stuff on Solana. They've been, you know, it's, it's a pattern. They've been building on Ethereum. They've been building on Binance. They started doing some building on Avalanche. But is it time that they start building on Solana? You know, could we be seeing more DeFi products on Solana? Could we be seeing games on Solana? Is that the next frontier for Anchor? Solana, that is the missing piece. And something's telling me, I had that vision, that we're going to start seeing products for Solana. Anyway, speculation. But until next time, guys, peace out. Safe investing.